Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope that you are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. I do appreciate you. And we are going to hop right into this download. Y'all, please make sure y'all take a second and a half and hit that like button for me, okay? You know you fuck with at least a phrase, a statement, something in this video or any of the other videos, okay? That's you fuck with a little bit enough to hit that like button for me. So go and hit that like button for me, please, and thank you. And let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Someone is playing chess with the Grim Reaper. I don't know no details about who it is, why they doing what they doing. I just know that's what they doing, okay? They're trying to avoid death, avoid a major loss. Grim Reaper comes to collect when it, you know what I'm saying, regarding death. I don't know if this person has even sacrificed other people. I just, I'm hearing this now. That they may have even sacrificed other people so that they would not have to ultimately face the Grim Reaper. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Keep returning to possibly a King of Cups to collect for everything that this King of Cups has done, but he, he keeps maneuvering around having to sacrifice himself. He is sacrificing other people. It might not be a king of cups. A king of cups could be one of the people that have been sacrificed. I'm telling you, it's something like that there because I ain't even hearing none of that when I got the download, but I just heard that Holy Spirit, okay? he he He's playing chess. He's being cunning. He's making slick moves. And I'm telling you, somehow he's been able to sacrifice other people on his behalf, whoever this is. So Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about whoever they are that's doing this? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit, that's playing chess with the Grim Reaper and may even be sacrificing other people to take his place. Okay, but I feel like that's about to play out as well because the people he's sacrificing, I'm hearing, are people who the Grim Reaper was probably coming to get anyway, I'm hearing, because the things they did, and he knows that. That's why he's playing chess. That's why he's able to keep getting knocked off the board. Let's go. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles coming out here. You already see how it's coming out here. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Temperance. And what fell on top of her? Hierophant. So there's a Queen of Pentacles who this, whoever this is, they're trying to sacrifice this person now with this Hierophant energy. Okay? They're trying to figure out how they can convince the spiritual realm and the grim reaper to accept this person, to accept their offer, to let that chest move be counted. It's something like that here. It's almost as if the whatever he was doing, he was bringing other people to the forefront, bringing other people up as an offering when it was his time. But whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, and they were accepting it, I'm telling you, because whoever he had been offering up, they had not did enough shit, more than enough shit, that the Grim Reaper was accepting that offer. Now, I'm telling you what I'm picking up on. But he didn't try to sacrifice the Queen of Pentacles, and this Queen of Pentacles ain't going. The universe don't want her. This is somebody who is divine that he's trying to sacrifice so his ass don't have to be on the chopping block. OK, and he thought that the universe was going to back his decision about this Queen of Pentacles, accept this offering. But no, but no, that's what I'm getting. That's why the Hierophant fell on top of her like that. The Most High God is not going to allow 
the spiritual realm to accept this Queen of Pentacles as some sort of offering on his behalf. Clarify, please, and thank you further what I'm getting, Holy Spirit. The High Priestess, because that's what he's trying to do. He's using some sort of secret knowledge, some ancient knowledge that he ain't got no business playing with, because I'm picking up on that more and more. That's why the people going through what they're going through. Because they decided they want to go to the library and pull a few books on some shit that they have is that they have the right to execute what they've read and learned. And that's not the case. I'm telling you, this man been doing some sort of spiritual manipulation to sacrifice people to King of Swords to not have to pay the piper, so to speak. And he been getting by because of who he's been offering up. But he can't offer up this one. I'm telling you right now. And he tried it. This King of Swords, King of Cups. He coming out right behind the High Priestess. He may have Pisces somewhere prominently in his chart. But that's how much spell work this man be doing now to make things go in his favor. Eight of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. To make things so that he can still be... In the light, child, it's a struggle. I don't know what kind of deal he didn't. I don't know how he even got to be playing chess with the Grim Reaper in the damn first place. That's my first point. So he do work for the dark side, okay? This King of Swords, King of Cups do. He works to constantly restart the cycle of his life. He works to sacrifice others in place of his own death. This person supposed to have been paid up for some shit that they didn't did, but he's working and doing something spiritually, which allows him to bypass his, his, to bypass death when it's his time. He, whatever this is, he does with this eight of pentacles. He goes right to the ace of wands, the sun. It's like his life cycle starts over just like that movie. Miss Peregrine, Peregrine's or Peregrine's um, school for exceptional students and how she would go out there. She was a blackbird. She could she could shape shift into a blackbird and she would go out right before the bomb was about to hit the orphanage. She would go outside every day and she would reset time so that they wouldn't die. It's something like that that this King of Swords, King of Cups is doing. Okay, and he been doing it for a while. And every time the Grim Reaper come at him charging to collect, he's able to walk off unscathed because of something he's doing behind the scenes. And it may be up to eight people who this King of Cups, King of Swords, and sacrifice now. It could be up to eight people. And the ninth person was supposed to be this queen of pentacles, but that shit ain't going like he thought. The universe ain't accepting the queen of pentacles. The Holy Spirit with this temperance energy. The trumpet got blown on that shit. The ju judgment ain't out here, but I'm telling you, he offered up this queen of pentacles to this, this whatever this is that encompasses this hierophant energy because they have to agree. It, you know, it's not like he can just say, here, take her. I want her to die in my place. And the Grim Reaper going to be like, okay. No. You know, it's rules to this shit. But he know the rules of the game. So it's something like, it, whatever he's doing, he's using these other people to take the place of his penance. And the spiritual realm has been accepting it, I'm telling you again, because the people he's been offering up, is just as damn no good as he is. But this Queen of Pentacles is on some other shit. Okay? It's really giving divine feminine. And he tried to sacrifice this divine feminine. And I'm telling you, they came back like, no, nah, dog. The Grim Reaper was like, that. We, you know, you can't make that move. You can't. You can't do that. What you just did. Mm-mm. 
That's what the that's what the Holy Spirit said. That's what the Most High God said. Now the wands falling right up under this temperance energy. No, you can't sacrifice her. You can't try to do this little trick shit that you're doing spiritually and offer her up. And this man, he finna have to go on head on and go on and concede with that chess game and walk up hit walk to his next destination his next lifetime whatever he about to walk into with this grim reaper now three of swords ten of swords emperor there go your grim reaper i'm telling you he didn't been doing this shit he didn't did it eight times already it's at least eight people who are either related affiliated or affiliated with somebody that this King of Swords, King of Cups is affiliated with that he sacrificed, who have passed, who have lost their lives. So I'm telling you right now, if this person has had any family members, a whole bunch of random family members just didn't pass, he sacrificed they ass 11-11. Even if this man had like a wife or a girlfriend, people he was dating, even, even I'm hearing, if they ain't passed, somebody in their family might have passed. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Eight of Swords right behind that. His ass didn't got caught up, though. He didn't did this shit too many times. He didn't had two, eight people. This man has had eight people on the chopping block on his behalf. And this ninth person he tried got his ass in the Nine of Swords. And the nine of wands because he know he didn't already got the feedback that they not accepting her. He tried it. That's why she was almost in reverse, y'all. I'm telling you. But he know now that with this nine of swords that he didn't fucked up, and he can't do that no more just because of who he tried to sacrifice. And his ass gonna have to take it. He gonna have to go ahead and give that life up to the Grim Reaper. Why, what did this King of Swords, King of Cups do initially for this Emperor Reaper energy to be on his ass anyway, Holy Spirit? King of Wands. Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles. That same old typical bullshit where I want to be rich. I want to have everything I want. I want to be able to do what I want. I want to be able to make my wishes come true. I don't want to have to answer to nobody. It's really giving I sold my soul. Four of Pentacles can talk about the sale of something, money, acquisition, being a Scrooge, being a glutton for money, you know, holding on to your money real tight, not even because you got to, but because you're greedy, you're vain, and you're selfish. And you don't want to help nobody. And you'll do anything to get money. Okay? This, he was in that energy. King of Wands, Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles. He, was, he would do anything to... It, I'm telling you, it's really giving he sold his soul somehow. He did something very selfish, very mean to have some sort of financial security. And it was bad, okay? It was very bad. He may have even empress in reverse out here now. So this motherfucker here, this king of swords, king of cups, king of wands, it's really giving shapeshifter energy as well. He been sacrificed to people. I'm telling you, he sacrificed the empress. This empress card flew out here in reverse, that probably was the first person that he sacrificed so that he could receive this abundance, this prosperity, so that he his wishes could come true. The Empress in reverse is right up under the moon. This could have been this man's mother. This easily could have been this man's mother, but depending on her heart and what she did throughout her life, 1441, this reaper accepted that offer, child. Clarify this empress in reverse because it's falling right up under the moon. I got to say it again. So it's something wasn't right with this empress in reverse. 
We have the seven of pentacles because of the seeds that she sowed throughout life. Okay, so he was able to get away with her offering her up, playing chess with the Grim Reaper. He, he made a move and the, the Grim Reaper accepted it with the approval of this Hierophant energy. So that's how he initially got in this King of Wands, Nine of Cups energy. And I'm telling you, he out here being a, he's like a miser, a Scrooge about his money. Once he got this abundance from sacrificing this Empress in reverse, this man been holding on to his shit. And he, he saw that he could continue to do this. She was the first person. We back with this Seven of Swords energy. There go seven other people that this man has done this shit to. I'm telling you, y'all better start looking around the motherfuckers that you fuck with because somebody in my collective fuck with this King of Swords, King of Cups, King of Wands. He a whole shapeshifter and he'll put on whatever face and energy he got to to pull people in, okay? Somebody fuck with him. Page of Wands, he, he got the gift of gab. That leave motherfuckers in the three of swords. Because they got to participate in low vibrational wayward activities to even qualify as a replacement for him. So what this man do is he look for like-minded folks. People who are moving in the same direction that he is. Which is this five of wands. Okay, five of wands right up under the dang on emperor card. And once these people do something, it's like they already had a track record, but whatever he able to pull them in to do, whatever conflict, whatever chaos they participate in, it's like that gives this emperor reaper energy, the green light to go ahead and take action against any of these number of folks that he offers up. Okay, so he's offered up an empress in reverse. This masculine has offered up one of his partners, somebody he was dating. Somebody he painted a lot of illusions with as well, made them think and feel that if they did certain things, they would have options in life. So it's three women out here already out of the nine total people he's tried to, he has out of the eight total people he's tried, he's done this to, and the one woman he tried to do it to, that's nine people total. Okay, and keep lining up. The cards just coming out here is lining up that he has done this to nine people. So far, we have an empress in reverse, somebody mother, probably his, a queen of swords, because she fallen right up under the eight of swords, and this queen of pentacles was his latest attempt. So that's three people already, and we ain't even 20 minutes into the reading, okay? And this Queen of Swords, he convinced this woman something that if whatever she did and participated in to get wealth, that if she did what he did, told her to do, he was going to fully commit to her. But he got her to do what she did so that she would be a prospect, she would be a candidate that this Grim Reaper could possibly accept, child. Mm, mm, mm. She did something regarding spell work as well. And she was left in the Five of Cups. Okay? She may have been his he she may have been his fifth victim. Or the sixth victim. But once he was able to sacrifice her, he been in the Ace of Cups. Because whatever she helped him do to get this wealth and prosperity, he was able to keep it for himself. We have the Five of Swords and the Queen of Cups with the Devil. Here go your next victim, a Pisces, because the Ten of Cups is right behind the Devil. There was a Pisces. 
This your, this he like to do this to women. Okay, and when I say sacrifice, some of these women have passed, but some of these women just have are going through some sort of like five to seven year cycle. Because I talked about this months ago on my channel where people's karma was going to be coming in five to seven year cycles. I've been talking about that months ago. I wasn't, I don't even think I was in this house when I was talking about that. So that's probably been a year ago. Okay over a year ago but some of these people their their karma is coming in purgatory type cycles and it's not going to be over after one or two things they're going to be going through years of karma and that's kind of what i'm picking up off this queen of swords she didn't lose her life but she got at least five to seven years of karma that she's going to have to face hard times because of whatever she did to be deceitful and spiritually manipulative with this masculine here, okay? And then he went to a Pisces, possibly someone who has Capricorn in their chart as well, and played that same shit because the five, five of swords came out before her. Offered her a future if she was willing to participate in some karmic ass behavior. And as soon as he got her ass to the point of no return when it comes to her soul and spirit, that's why the devil is also coming out with the five of swords and the queen of cups because he turned, he turned this Pisces. Whoever this Pisces is, this person went real roguish hoping for a future with this man only for him to six of pentacles her ass. Excuse me. Six of Swords. He he told her he was going to Six of Pentacles her, but he Six of Swords her and moved on with somebody else. We got the lovers. So this is a serial, a serial dater. But he's sacrificing these women. Some of these women have in fact passed on. So like this Queen of Cups. He could have moved on to another lover. But it's really given that this Queen of Cups ass was, she was forced to transition because of something karmic that she didn't have and got caught up for that she did participate with this man. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Like she might have got sent up the river. Justice, child, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you now. So one of these people... Just ain't never going to win in life for at least for about five next five to seven years. One of these people died. One of these people went to jail. That's, 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 um, five of pentacles right behind that child. She went to jail and he got to keep that abundance that he acquired with her. So we up to three different women now that this man then somehow got money up off of has gotten wealth and prosperity through not necessarily off of because the only person i'm picking up that may have had some money was this empress in reverse that that's how he initially amassed his wealth but he's been adding to it with this spiritual manipulation and this devilment he was doing with this queen of swords and this queen of cups this man's sitting in the King of Pentacles, and it's crazy because he out here now is all four kings. This is somebody who has a high level of spiritual ability. He could easily be a warlock of some kind. He definitely is into that necromancy, okay? But he figured out something spiritually that he was able to, if he could convince these women to go roguish, and do roguish shit with go rogue and do roguish shit with him, then they ass were gonna be eligible to replace him with the Grim Reaper. But he can't do this shit no more. He cannot. And he fucked it up when he came with this Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands. He he's already been told what the judgment is. He knows what the future holds, y'all. He been stressed. Okay, three of wands with the judgment and the two of wands. He already know they preparing the, the spiritual realm is preparing his exit. 
The green the Grim Reaper is preparing his damn exit. Judgment is right up under the um, devil. The horn been blown. All right. On his crap, no more. A decision has been made about the future. I'm telling you, no more. He can't do this bullshit no more. And the Grim Reaper is coming in to collect his ass once and for all. He know it too, child. Page of Swords with the Four of Cups because he know that Queen of Pentacles is just still doing her thing. She, she was able to fight off his attempts to sacrifice her. She ain't do shit, though. God did it. God wasn't finna let this Queen of Wands, Queen of um, Pentacles lose her stability, her life, her freedom, her her ability to move about and live and do whatever she's doing because she's divine and she is she's carrying out some sort of divine purpose okay and she reconnects with the spiritual realm with the oh i can't make it up child with the most high god frequently to gain insight wisdom understanding to understand herself to work on herself and do better she been going to God and going to her spirit team for a long time in this hermit energy, trying to get herself together, okay? And this is what her future is going to be. Her future is not going to be no Ten of Swords. It's going to be the Ten of Pentacles, okay? That's why she initially came out here as the Queen of Pentacles too, because the universe... The spiritual realm, her spirit team, and the most high God are going to give this woman what she deserves because of all of this work she's done to be upright and in one accord with the most high God. She, This woman been doing, it's really giving like somebody who constantly is taking themselves through a dark night of the soul so, they sh so that they can make sure that they are on the up and up with God. Okay, somebody who's always revisiting their life, making sure that they're not succumbing to Babylon, okay? And I'm telling you, she she definitely is someone who practices prayer and deep meditation, constantly in reflection mode, recovering from the temptations of this low vibrational energy that we can be surrounded by sometimes. Like, this woman ain't on nothing that the Grim Reaper will even be coming to her door about. And she's going to be happy. She's going to celebrate. She's going to most of all move forward. He tried to stop her life. I, it's really given this queen of pentacles. He may have actually tried to have her life taken. Page of pentacles. Whatever he tried to do this time, it was a little bit more detailed. And it was a little bit more specific. So whoever this shapeshifter warlock energy is, he had a problem with this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. He, he wanted her to be his next victim. But I feel like the reason why he had a problem with her is because her light irritated his demons. Okay? So it's something like he just chose her to just say, oh, I'm going to just get her. I'm going to offer her up. He ain't partnered with this woman like he partnered with these other women. He may have tried to partner with this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Let's get another deck and clarify. Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Did this shapeshifter energy cut the deck on the Ace of Wands? He may have tried to, because they are. she is coming out as his match twice, but so are these other women. Okay, this Queen of Cups and this Queen of Swords coming out as his match for sure as well. So clarify the connection between this shapeshifter and this Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Clarify, please, and thank you. We have the star. This man had faith and hope in a possibility of a connection with this um, woman at one point. Justice, child. 
Yeah, he did. So this woman right here, he just wanted to be with this woman, okay? But she ain't bite. That's what I'm seeing. Four of Cups. She probably picked up that this man wasn't damn right, child. This man sacrificed women so his ass ain't got to pay the piper. Six of Swords. She moved on to calmer waters because she could already see that that was going to be a form of destruction in her life. So he mad about that because whoever this is, Page of Swords, he couldn't convince her to play on his team. He couldn't sacrifice her the way he initially wanted to. So he had to come up with something else with this Page of Pentacles and this Page of Swords. He just didn't know how divinely protected this woman was. Ten of Pentacles with the Temperance. That she was going to be able to walk away from this unscathed. Like he thought he was going to walk away from this unscathed. But something didn't change within the game, sir. Okay? You ain't, you ain't going to be able to sacrifice this one. The energy is repeating itself. She's going to be able to have a life of success and accomplishment. She's going to be stable. She's going to be secure. He not finna be able to move her. And he thought he was. He thought he had figured out what he needed to do to balance things in his favor and get possibly a Ten of Pentacles in return off of her energy. Because you got to remember now, he gets abundance from these women that he sacrifices. But again, the universe wasn't finna let him take this action. Look, the universe wasn't gonna let him take this action against this this queen of pentacle queen of pentacles this divine feminine here and walk away with a bag no 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 that ain't happening this time around sir it's time to pay the piper the grim reaper is on his way couldn't even hardly say it cuz this man don't want to accept that shit he been Running, out running death for a long time. It's giving puss. Okay? Scared of the angel of death coming for him. So he was trying to outrun him. But puss wasn't down sacrificing no damn body. Like this damn shape shit the face head ass. Here he is. What's going to be the final outcome? Anything? Well, we know what the final outcome going to be. Anything else we need to know, Holy Spirit, before we close, please and thank you? That was the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. Sun with the Nine of Wands. Because it's been illuminated what he's been doing. It's almost like he was getting, a, like, they was just letting him slide on through with these offerings, these, these people now. Some some was just look the heart this heart fan energy was giving this man a pass. King of Pentacles, King of Swords, Five of Wands, and I'm telling you, it's because of who he was bringing to the table. It's who he was bringing to the table because these people were just as gully as his ass was to get money to be abundant. So that's why he was getting a pass now, but he ain't getting no pass no more. Because it, it's almost like, damn, you should have tried to go find somebody else that you like you've been doing instead of trying to switch up your recipe. And you might have had a little bit longer, child, with this Ace of Wands. But no, he want to go fuck with this divine feminine that he couldn't turn on the physical realm, that he couldn't get to play around along with his bullshit. And now his ass is in the Nine of Swords. Because he know what's coming. Two of Wands out here again. He knows what's coming for him. And I'm dropping the mic on that. He know what's coming for him. Because this Queen of Pentacles is still doing her thing. This Queen of Pentacles ain't fucked up like he wanted her to be. She ain't taking no losses like he intended for her to. So he already know. Because he got clear insight indication all of these other times, these eight times before, that whoever he offered up, that that offer was accepted. 
because he could see in that person's life, or even if they passed, that they had been sacrificed, whether they went to jail, whether they got sick and passed on, whether they became impoverished. He had clear indication on the physical realm that his sacrifice was accepted. But when he tried to sacrifice this divine feminine who was not even on no shit like that, that's where, that's when the game changed. That is when the game changed. And I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helped someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.